Hey, it's Eagle Runner Bill here. I got this old battery charger. You can see my battery post clamps. One's routed away, the other one's missing. So I need to do a voltage check on the output of this charger. You hook up my clamps and hook these little clips up to my meter leads. I got my multimeter out. I'm going to DC volts. I'm going to hook my black meter lead to the negative post and my red meter lead to the positive post output of the battery charger. Go ahead and plug in my charger. You see I got 3 volts residual voltage. I go to 12 volts. Show me 13 volts. I go to 6 volts. It shows me 8. So my output is good. You know, the voltage has got to be a little bit higher than the battery you're charging. Okay, here's my clamps. I bought these from Amazon. They seem pretty durable and strong because I do abuse these battery chargers. Look pretty nice. Pull off my handle insulator. Some people will just take the wire and strip it and then bend it over just like that. Put it on the clamp and then just crimp those little tits down to hold the wire and hopefully hold the wire metal against the clamps to get a good connection. I don't like doing that. I'm going to go ahead and solder these. So I'm going to take and put the wire just like that. Take a pair of needle nose and crimp them wires down. Before you do that, make sure you slide your handle on that wire. Because once you do this, you're not going to be able to get that handle, that rubber insulator handle on. So I'll go ahead and cover this and crimp this insulation. And remember, when you're soldering, you want to heat the metal. Just heat it enough so it sucks the solder. You don't want to put the heat on the solder, just on the metal. And you don't want to get it so hot, your insulation on the wire starts melting. And that solder, the metal should just suck up that solder. And that's the secret to it. Now this looks terrible. I don't know what all that black stuff is. There must be something on that metal that oxidized because it turned black just from the heat of the butane torch. Well, let me put my handle insulator back on that clamp. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the red wire, butane, heat it up so the metal sucks up the solder. I don't know where that black mess came from, but the solder adhered to the metal real nice it's a good strong hold there i don't have to worry about that and there's my negative battery post i can see the negative emblem next to the post and i'll put my black clamp on there there's my positive insignia near the post and put on my red clamp go ahead and turn my battery charger on and it jumped right up to about four amps and now it's settling down around two and a half, three. Remember, when you initially turn on that charger, if you hear any funny noises or popping or anything, shut it right down. You don't need a battery blowing up. You got to be real careful when you're hooking a battery charger up to a battery. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.